Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, my love. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a new, doesn't matter to me, I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? Love you too. Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, okay? I thank you in advance for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. Hmm. Uh, Aries, there's no gender here. He, he, she, they, them, her, him, no matter what I say, it, heifer, just take it how it resonates. And remember, roles can always be reversed, okay? But this is all energy. Aries, um, I was surprised to actually be called to use a psychic uh, tarot oracle for you. I haven't used these cards in some time. Um, death energy is centered here. Uh, transformation number 13. And it feels like really, 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 really good. It really, it's it's hurtful, but it's really good. It's like a breakthrough. Like a, uh, It feels like, a, um, like you, I can feel the cocoon. You know what I'm saying? Like you're really coming out beautifully um, after a serious series of events you know what i mean spiritual strength is at the bottom of the deck it's as if you're climbing out of a hole and divine is literally holding up the boulder that was trying to hold you down you know and i love that energy crown chakra right under that intuitive uh, intuitive abilities are definitely heightened at this time um it just feels good all the way around um scorpion energy is death energy by the way You don't have to have Scorpio in your chart. You know, anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. I say that all the time, okay? Aries, but I love to see this new you. I can't wait to actually see you in this new skin that you have. Because you have definitely, um, you have or you're in the process of some serious shedding here. Uh, center energy, please, for Aries. We're going to see if we can get something from the dreams of Gaia for you. Center energy, please, for Aries. Thank you. Uh-huh. Three of fire. I love it. Um, three of fire, three of wands energy uh, speaks to, in traditional tarot, an energy of waiting for your ships to come in, an energy of waiting for something to come along, or an energy of expectation. Um, in this deck, it's a little further. It's like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting. Let me just go see what's out there. Okay? I'm on my way. Um, it's very spontaneous energy. Um, ex ex explorative. Crowning energy, please, for Aries union and thought you're thinking about maybe coming together with something or somebody with this crowning energy two major arcanas here by the way for this deck uh card number 18 as well as number 13 you also have 13 here on your um transformation with the other deck uh union is coming together it doesn't have to be um, you know, two people. Um, it's more so about the union of self, the alignment of chakras, the acceptance of self. Um, yeah, that's how I want to say that. Um, yeah, I, I think I want to leave that right there, actually, especially with thought. I love this. I, it's almost as if like your transformation has been not just, it's not physical, it's spiritual. You know, it's not just life or shedding skin. It's almost like a new, new, I don't know, a new mind, you know, a new mind. Uh, undermining energy, please, for Aries. What's undermining Aries right now in this energy? Forgive me, guys. This is a thick deck, and I've been struggling with it lately. I don't know why. I love these cards. Aries, please. Thank you. Yes. Five of air here. Um, you wanting to go after something new, explore your options, new horizons, new mind, new you, youthful energy. I love this center energy, crowning energy, definitely a lot of thought and process, thinking about who, what, when, why, or, or how of the past, or learning lessons, or seeking knowledge, truth, and understanding with thought, like it's endless, you know what I'm saying? Uh, union, again, coming together, uh, bringing everything together, bringing everything into alignment, finding balance within self, what's working against you, the old you. 
the old you. See, Five of Air, for this deck, it doesn't just speak to um, mind games. It also speaks to a falsehood of self, you know, a falsehood of... But see, Aries, that might be an issue for you, for you to actually reveal, you know, this hurt or to reveal a vulnerable side to yourself. Uh, where is this coming from, please? Who we'll brought this on for Aries? A boomstick? Say it ain't so. Oh, my goodness. Don't blame it on the boomstick. Blame it on the rain, but don't blame it on the boomstick. <laughs> Aries, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. <laughs> oh, not the poom poom, baby. Guys, I love you so much. Y'all so crazy. Um, if you're new to my channel, a boomstick or a poom poom stick uh, represents Ace of Wands or Ace of Fire energy in this deck. Um, it's an energy of passion, you know, forward movement. It's an energy of uh, fertility, okay? Uh, it creates life-changing events, you know. Um, maybe this was the beginning of the transformation for you i want to say that because there is an egg depicted here with the spider cultivating um but you know i'm hearing i ain't gonna lie you know an understanding of a, a, a sex addiction that's that, what i'm hearing i ain't gonna lie and we talking aries and don't nobody have to know but us okay um but yeah that's what i'm hearing all right for somebody um, others of you, basically, um, you just really embraced the Ace of Wands energy God gave you and you took advantage of it and you saw an opportunity for a brand new beginning and you followed the path and it empowered you. You know, you feel that today, no matter what's coming tomorrow, you know you're not who you were, nor you'll, you know you'll never be who you were uh, the day before. Okay. Future energy, please. Where's this going for Aries? Future energy, please. Where is this going? Aries energy. Oh, okay. Yes, my love. Coming out of toilet paper torture. Yes. Okay. Standing in divine favor. Come on now. Um, eight of air here in the reverse. I love it because in traditional tarot, you would see the female surrounded by the swords and she's tied up with the white garment. I call it toilet paper torture. Um, in this deck, basically, it's just a mindset of holding on to things that hurt. And that's why he depicts, you know, the pain and the blood in his hand instead of just turning the sword around, it, it, you know. But the card is in reverse for your future energy. You're letting go getting freedom in your mind peace in your mind understanding and a way out in your mind which is leading you to a place of understanding you know what i'm okay i'm okay everything is not perfect but i'm okay nine of water here at the bottom of the deck uh cancer pisces scorpio energy it's an energy of having just about everything that you want definitely having what you need um and being in a place of receiving um divine uh for further instructions you, you understand what i'm saying being open to receive and that's beautiful for you because i know you guys have control issues it's giving you peace look at the seven of earth right under it peace you see that that's what i'm talking about because you align yourself with yourself you know, you start accepting things, good, bad, and indifferent about you or about the world. Regardless, you know, pick it. Don't matter to me. But you find some alignment and some balance with this union energy that's crowning you. It brings you to that place. Uh, it brings you open to receive, open to give. You know, even though you're standing independent and strong with this nine of earth here, you're still, you know, willing and open to life. You know, counseling could be an issue. I ain't going to lie as far as maybe how you got here. Maybe you're going to talk to somebody that will help you um, along this journey. Or maybe divine is counseling you with this spiritual strength. You never know. Okay? But there is some communication being had with this king of air. And it's truth. Okay? About your connections to um, your relationships and how you connect with this two of water. All right? Things that you were seeking answers about, um, knowledge about, and understanding about because you felt maybe that it was out of your control. Every time you had control, you feel like you lost control, probably with an air sign with this queen of air, Libra 
Gemini Aquarius, who you felt was somebody that was loyal. You felt that somebody was trustworthy, but it seems that this person brought you pain, but that pain brought you power, okay? And this power is bringing you abundance and healing. Aries, don't make me go through this whole damn deck because I love you and I will. Not today, all right? I don't love you that much today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I want to clarify this. Uh, let's do it with vision. Ooh, I love the exploratory energy right now, Aries. I feel like now, like, you're back to, you're feeling honestly a little, I don't know. Let's go. Let's do it. You know, let's try it. And that's fun. Fun you haven't had for quite some time, you know. With your bad self. I love all this energy. Even what's undermining you. Because you're still in the process of dealing with it. You know. And I receive that. As long as you're dealing with it. I don't care if it takes 10, 20, 40, 30 years. It's in divine timing. How about that? You know. Past energy. Let's start with the boomstick, baby. Daughter of air. Page of uh, swords energy. Uh, feminine energy for this deck. Um, an energy of communication. Uh, very light communication. I ain't going to lie uh, with a page here. Maybe a text. Tell me more. Past energy. Clarifying the boomstick. Daughter of air. Thank you. Spiritual warrior in reverse. Now that's surprising. Um, for this deck, that's chariot energy. Okay. Cancerian energy. Movement. Divine movement. Okay. But it's coming in the reverse. So it's almost as if... Um, you may have felt the boomstick and felt that it was at a standstill or you were feeling like you were ready to move forward and somebody else was like no I don't want to go they didn't want to get on the horse you know they didn't want to get on the horse uh let me get one more in the pass on top of that uh chariot yeah, and see, they they didn't want to, they didn't, yeah, definitely, we have opposites here. Ace of Fire, Reverse. This is a limp noodle. I ain't gonna lie. It's a limp noodle. All right? So you went, you went, you, 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 <laughs> Ooh, let me watch my mouth. I almost went somewhere with that. Okay, let's pull that in. You was ready to go, okay? Somebody else wasn't, period. You was ready to go. Somebody else wasn't. We gonna leave that right there. <laughs> Three of fire, center energy. <laughs> Whoa, so we have a place of torment. You know, it, it's okay. Devil energy, Capricorn energy, because that's what, you know, the devil does. You know, torment you. That's what the enemy do. Try to hold you down, hold you back. Wouldn't the enemy show up as soon as you're willing to take a chance? That's when the enemy shows up. When guys start moving in your life, putting you in transformation, helping you out with spiritual strength so that you can have a union and alignment in your life so you can get the answers that you're seeking, here come the enemy. You know, planting fear and anxiety and lust and guilt and all the things that comes with the enemy, everything against the divine. But, you know... God is still God. Center energy, please. We're going to deal with it no matter what. Center energy. Let me get one on this devil energy. Now, if you have Capricorn in your chart, leave it as that. Let me get one on this devil energy, please. Thank you. The father of air. King of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Uh, and I have to say that it's almost as if the enemy is trying to trick you with the truth. Let me get one on the father of air. Some, yeah, uh, Father of Earth. Yeah, I, I stand by that. It's almost like the enemy is trying to trick you with the truth. You know how kind of like you watch uh, movies and the bad one or... Yeah, I want to say it like that. The bad one will say, well, I don't lie or I didn't lie. And they didn't. But it's still uh, not right. You know what I mean? It's still unjust. It's still unfair. It's still um, an energy that's trying to keep you grounded. See, the Father of Earth is a grounded energy. You know, it's a uh, loyal energy. It's an energy that wants to sit down. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Father of Earth is a planner, strategizer. They sit down and think. Um, this is a person of detail. Give me one on the Father of Earth. The Medicine Woman. Reverse. Damn, 
this is a high priestess in reverse it's all okay so it's like you're ready to go you went through the situation you want you want to try something new okay you try a new life new direction new approach okay but then the enemy comes in to plant these seeds in you to try to halt or di uh, divert your journey and they're doing so honestly with a harsh truth you understand and the harsh truth is coming off in a way that is supposed to ground you so that you don't move but in a uh, what is the ultimate goal is really to block you from the downloads that you've been receiving in your transformation while you're in boomstick energy and you're ready to go forward and your your passion and your drive is and your drilling is going i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do this and boom as soon as you go to step out the door or to make that move or to say what you're going to say it's like boom then you come up with well i did do this i did say that i did go here you know you all these truths start making be coming into play on why you should just chill relax and let it play out on its own instead of you being proactive in the action you know and what that does if you're talking to yourself in your head then that means that you're not hearing god speak because you're talking mm, damn tricky oh that enemy i can't stand them crowning energy thought union transformation of Again, see, God is still God. It don't matter. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, death energy here. Again, number 13. So you have, watch this, 13, 13, 13, three times, okay? Three different decks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Change. Hard change, guys. This is a hard change. I ain't gonna lie. But this is a life-changing event crowning you. Life-changing energy. I'm gonna say it like that crowning you because i don't think the event is really at hand for all of you because this energy is above you have to pull down from this energy to um uh, and pull it into your life you know what i mean pull it into your existence so that you can use this energy this is what god has given you opportunity for change opportunity for change um undermining now this is a really important five of air here that's undermining aries process we have a spirit guide number 20 and then we have clarity with the six of air now the spirit guide here is justice libra energy six of air libra gemini aquarius um that's a water uber i ain't gonna lie traditional tarot the six of air is an energy of leaving chaos and 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 foolishness trying to find peace and tranquility okay uh with spirit guide here you could have a, a libra justice energy leaving you see the horses they trying to get away they just want to find um good good land you know this family is trying to find uh land to to uh, good ground to 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 plant and with uh divine right there in the clouds they're being divinely led justice that uh, spirit guide here spirit is leading this person into the direction that they're going because they are leaving foolishness behind but this might be a serious realization for you all right don't get caught up on the signs don't talk about the signs feel the energy it doesn't have to be a libra it don't have to be an air sign it don't have to be love it's just an energy of something leaving behind something's leaving definitely hello but it's leaving you with realization and that hurts okay that hurt is turning into toxicity in your head that toxicity in your head is turning into blockage from the divine and confusion from the divine because god is trying to show you change but future energy you get out of this confusion with this toilet paper torture in reverse eight of air here in reverse i will not <laughs> let you have my mind now come on aries future energy one flip over future energy please for aries aries energy eight of air reverse eight of air thank you so much we have a seven of earth so the realization might come with a little letdown the seven of earth this is an energy that somebody took their time to plant a seed somebody watered and cultivated and felt like it was growing good but then it was neglected or something happened 
the weather changed, but the plant died. Okay? Something happened. Tell me more. Future energy. Seven of Earth. Eight of Air. In reverse for Aries. Future energy. Here we go. Aries, I think that overall, you know who you are. Father of Fire here, King of Wands energy. You know who you are. You know that you're strong, you're passionate. You know that um, you have the capabilities of running um, your household, your business. You know that you get things done. You know that you passionately um, try to achieve your goals. What you feel like you can't help is that um, people don't understand you or they don't last. You know what I'm saying? It's like it might start good and it don't last. Or it might start slow and then when you're ready, it's not there anymore. For whatever reason, it just seems like the timing doesn't connect when you're ready to connect with a partner. Only when it's for something to do. Because the father and mother of fire only take a partner by choice. They don't need them. So because you really don't need nobody, it's kind of hard to act like you really do want them. But you really do want them. Does that make sense? Okay. Let me get one on the Father of Fire. And then we have Vision Quest here coming in reverse. So this card number 12, which is a hangman, Piscean energy in the reverse. Now in the upright, this is an energy of a new perspective, uh, seeing the other side of the coin. And uh, uh, Pisces in reverse is not being seen. I ain't going to lie. So it's, it's almost as if you're going to find freedom in your mind by realizing that maybe um, you're just not going to put no more energy into a situation because you know that you're good. Um, but overall, there's still more to see here. Let me just get one on this vision quest because I don't want to leave you like this because I don't feel that this is a complete energy here. Tell me about this um, hangman in reverse for Pisces. I mean, for... Uh, Aries, please, what are they not seeing? It's like you see yourself perfectly, but there's something you're not seeing. The two of fire, will. Ain't that something? Will. Damn, Aries. And I know you feel like there's no way that I'm missing what I'm will. I was willing. I was willing. I can't, I can't, I can't make this up. You know, this is the energy. This doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody else. But that's what the energy is saying. Your two of fire energy is making a decision, a sound decision. Okay? Like, if you have a choice between two, that's what I want. Period. That's the two of fire energy. Okay? But if you're not seeing maybe how your indecision... um affected this process or affected yeah this energy that's how i want to say that i ain't gonna lie what's at the bottom the grandfather yeah this is you emperor you know emperors sometime know so much that um it hurts them and i love you aries so we talking okay it's between us um but emperors sometimes they know so much that you know it's hard to teach an emperor. How are you going to teach an emperor? That's like the boss. This is emperor energy is the combination of all four kings. You know, he runs the empire. Hello? This is the boss, the CEO of the COO. You know, what you going to tell? You you can't be in a, as an employee, you know, what are you going to tell the owner? He he's the millionaire. He's he was a millionaire before you started working there. What are you going to tell him? But it's almost as if divine is saying, as much as you know and as strong as you are, you went through this process and you asked the question. You were looking for answers. You know what I'm saying? Make no, make, make no mistake about it. You asked for this, okay? You wanted answers. And answers required for you to actually look at everything, union all sides of the situation and of yourself so that you could see uh, the transformation that was coming through, the transformation that was coming through. You know what I mean? 
You needed to see these things within yourself. You needed to understand these things within yourself. You can still be the emperor and you can still shed skin. You just knew and improved. Okay, but there is still that lingering energy of that king of wands, that king of fire, that's so independent uh, that they, eh, I don't need you. I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? And the emperor, see, this is the new emperor. That's why the father of water is um, under there. Because, you know, the, like I said, the emperor embodies all four kings. So even though he has the confidence of the king of wands, he still has the love and compassion of the king of water. Okay? That gentle heart. That embracing. And that's how you get fulfillment. And using all four kings not just operating in one energy. This is a ten of water here. Look at that replenishment of life. That is so serene right there. With joy in the sun right under it. Oh, MG. Aries, I love y'all so much. All right. Now, keep in mind, the energies that to me are most positive are energies that you're going to have to work for. I'm not going to lie. Because it's crowning energy with transformation and union. We have um, energies at the bottom of the deck with the vision quest, which means that you haven't made it completely through this cycle to get to this energy yet. All right. And then we have the nine of water of being in the place and I'm okay. And God, I'm waiting for you to lead and guide me to my peace. So that I can have balance, you understand? And uh, independence. Remember all those things we went through with this deck. So again, there's still a process here for you to get to this energy. These are energies that are up and coming uh, for you to grab from. Up and coming in your life, in your surrounding energies. But there's still a process here that you're going through. And for some of you, to be honest, you don't like the, how long it's taken. At all. All right? I love you. Just know that things happening in divine timing. And the more you free your mind and allow yourself to accept what is, what is not, what will be. And I mean, not just of everybody else, of you too. Okay. Then the more you'll maybe see of what God is trying to remove so that he can replenish in your life. All right. I hope this helps. If any event, none of this resonates, it's okay. It's okay. Check out your moon and rising sign. Please don't take this energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Remember, thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Support the channel. And make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.